Hello, the Mershaker get shotguns out, and this is very late at night right now. It is 9:24, and one reason why I have the luxury of recording this late at night is because my voice would be shot to do anything louder than what I'm doing right now. So I'm trying to get up close and personal to the mic so you guys can understand me a bit better. So before I get into this video, a quick update. The reason why I haven't had any videos out lately on this channel is because I've been working on one specific video and planning out other videos I'll be getting in the future. Now, mainly this will start to happen in about a week or so when I get a certain piece of equipment that will help me make new and different kind of videos. But until then, you should get used to my content that I've been producing. So, what are we going to be talking about today? Well, we're going to be talking about some news actually. So basically, if you guys don't know already, Xbox 360 Productions has stopped. No more Xbox 360s will be made. It is just a flat line. We're done. No more are being created, which is a sad time in gaming because the Xbox 360 is home to my first first-person shooter, which you guys don't know was Halo Reach. And my first COD game, which was MW3. Yeah, such a game to start off on, but I like the game. I liked MW3. Not a lot of people did, but I liked it. It. So, oh, I just want to sort of put my two cents on this and what I think about this is it's it just shows how fast gaming has grown. I mean, some of the first Call of Duty stuff on my channel was Black Ops 2, and that was my second game on well, second Call of Duty game on 360. And then the Xbox One 2 came out, and I didn't actually use it until Black Ops 3 came out, which once again just shows the progression I mean I have MW2 gameplay for you guys right now and it was really nostalgic to have some boots on the ground gameplay yes I don't have nostalgia with MW2 I went back and played it after I played Black Ops 2 I didn't really like it as much as a lot of people did but then again I didn't have that nostalgia factor of it being either my first COD or my third COD it was like my sixth or COD or something I don't know it was a, it was one of the last CODs I played but uh, just playing regular boots on the ground, just playing some regular, just like Call of Duty, how it was meant to be played, just felt good for some reason. As much as I hate MW2, and I hate MW2 a lot, I know I'm going to start playing more or some shit, but I don't care. Just, I just don't like MW2 that much. But it's starting, it's starting to grow on me. The more exo jumps, the more bullshit we're getting in the old Call of Duties. It's kind of fun to go back and play, and I might make a mini series out of it, of going back and playing the old Call of Duty games. But that is besides it's the point. Basically, what I want to get across here is that the Xbox 360 holds a special place in my heart. It always will hold a special place in my heart, and it's really sad to see it go. I can just list off the amount of funny moments, the insane moments, crazy moments. I still remember to this day, my first quad feed was a Semtex on the map I wanna say hard hat I didn't know what the, what it was called in MW3 it was like the construction zone map I'm pretty sure it was hard hat hat it was a semtex I threw it in the construction tube and it got a quad beat and I went absolutely ape shit I remember that and just the 360 just is just nostalgic and it's really nice to see it it's like have a good ending. I mean, it had a great ending, but once again, it's sad to see it go. However, I think the games will obviously live on because this brings us to the next thing I want to talk about that transition, though, which is the backwards compatibility for Xbox One, which may bring the Xbox One above the PS4 in terms of, well, customer relations almost how like people may prefer the Xbox 360 over the PS4 why well because if you guys don't know Sony just released the PlayStation Neo well they didn't just release it they just announced it and it's going to be released well rumored to be released later on this year now what's really weird about this is that instead of focusing their practices on backwards compatibility they're focusing on a 4k version of the PS4 which is kind of counterproductive considering that if you have the Neo you're still gonna be playing in a game that's compatible for the PS4 so why worry about 4k personally I don't think quality really matters in a game hell I played Battlefield 4 on 360 and I still love the game 
and I'll still play the game. I don't give a shit how bad the graphics are. I absolutely love Battlefield 4 on the 360, and that is that. I'll play COD 4. I'll play World at War. I don't care about the graphics. I play freaking Borderlands. Those are some shell shaded shit graphics. But you know what? I love the game, and that's why I play them. So, Xbox has been getting more backwards compatibility games coming into the lineup. And as we've seen from some leaks, people have been able to see NW2 under the market for Xbox One. And a representative came out from Microsoft basically saying in some people games like they glitched or got leaked or something happened where they're able to play the game on Xbox one early basically what happens with Microsoft is they have an emulator to test out the backwards compatibility games and if they're able to get MW2 that means MW2 is gonna eventually become backwards compatibility for the Xbox one which is really cool cuz that is opening the gateway to other COD games and if Xbox has this you better bet your bollocks that freaking everyone is going to be going to the xbox one so they can play these backward compatibility games yes they can always go back to the ps3 but what if the ps3 gets announced to be stopped produced produced stop getting produced like xbox 360 i mean it's gonna happen eventually and i think once these two consoles die if the ps4 doesn't have backwards compatibility or the neo doesn't have backwards compatibility that can be a huge problem for Sony, and Microsoft can easily take the cake, but you know what, screw console wars, console wars mean jack shit, the important thing here is that these game companies are reminding us on what we loved, and they're taking some of the games that we loved, and are backwards compatibility them, backwards compatibility -ing them, nice deal, but they're making them backwards compatible, and we can now play them and I honestly cannot wait to see Call of Duty games come out for the Xbox One. They're originally on the 360. I can't wait to play COD 4, Black Ops 2, Health maybe some games that aren't even COD. Maybe if there's a way where if I have the PS PS3 <laughs> Xbox 360 BF4, maybe I can play in the Xbox One. Who knows? There's so many possibilities you can do with backwards compatibility. But once again we don't have any official news yet we haven't got a statement from activision saying this is what it is however there's some huge huge hints that we're going to be seeing mw2 at least make a backwards compatibility release which i believe a lot of call of duty players will be happy with but anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed the video i know this is a bit shorter video but my throat is absolutely killing me and i want to get this video out and then go to bed so anyway hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you guys like the new channel hit the like and subscribe and all the potential hit the same buttons Anyway, I'm Subchecker, and I will talk to you all later. Peace.